Today on the watch list, video games now haul in $220 billion a year. And as the lines of entertainment blur, it's no wonder we're seeing our favorite characters go Hollywood. Zach Perry is checking out some of the latest movies based on video games, including the big new Super Mario Brothers movie. Video game movies used to be for a niche audience and were considered risky by Hollywood standards. Now we figured out a way to get mass audiences in the theaters opening weekend. I don't think that's going to stop anytime soon. Film critic and video game fan Mark Ellis of Rotten Tomatoes shares three video game movies that have fans clamoring for more. And we'll jump right in with the new Super Mario Brothers movie. This is a family film. There's something for everyone. The kids are gonna love seeing their favorite characters and the adults are gonna have a lot to chuckle with. Oh wow, love these pipes. Oh, yeah. You have Chris Pratt as Mario, Charlie Day as Luigi, Jack Black as Bowser. My army, Koopas, Koopas, whatever those things are. Aww. The plot has brothers Mario and Luigi on a plumbing job when all of a sudden they are transported to a magical land where Mario must save the day. No pressure. It's in theaters now. Today is your lucky day. Through the sky. Sonic the Hedgehog speeds his way into our next video game movie, which was a first of sorts. Sonic was actually the first to get the live action animation hybrid treatment, and the movie was a smash hit. And on the tail of that success came Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which leveled up the action and the comedy. Jim Carrey is Dr. Robotnik for crying out loud, who, by the way, he did improvise that Dr. Robotnik dance. After earning more than 700 million for the first two movies, Mark says you can expect Jim Carrey alongside the lovable Sonic in next year's Sonic 3. Did you miss me? But be patient. The tentative release date is not until next December. Pokemon's adorable mascot got his own movie in 2019. Detective Pikachu. Here we go. Hollywood.com put together a behind the scenes video that explains the new take on Pikachu. Detective Pikachu is this cute Pikachu, this fuzzy, adorable Pokemon, and then it has Ryan Reynolds' voice, and it's very film noir. And when you hear Ryan Reynolds and you think Detective Pikachu, audiences are gonna think, oh, there's something to like. I'm gonna get a lot out of this movie, and that's what ended up happening. Over 400 million worldwide dollars. Mark says, while no date is certain, you can expect a part two sometime next year. We're leveling up the fun with video game movies. You asked for it. On the watch list.